Hello friends, thank you for watching how to give away. For many reasons, you may want to change your domain provider. Now in this tutorial, I will show you how to transfer your Kodai domain to Namecheap. So without further ado, let's get into the work. Many people think it's a rigorous process to change your domain provider, which is true but not completely, mainly because you don't need to be professional to follow these steps. Let's log into the Kodai account where the domain is located. This is the domain I will transfer to Namecheap. Now log into your Namecheap account. Click on transfer under the menu domains and Namecheap will take you to the transfer page. Enter your domain name in the box and click transfer. In this page you will see that your domain is a legible transfer but it's prohibited due to your transfer law. Now you need to unlock the domain from GoDaddy. To do that go to your GoDaddy dashboard and click on manage beside the domain you want to transfer. Now you are into the domain details of GoDaddy. To unlock the domain, click on the second option of settings which says lock. For your case, it will say on. So you need to click on manage to select off. But as I already unlocked the domain in my case, it's saying off. Another very important thing you need from this page is the authorization code. Without this code, Namecheap won't be authorized to initiate the transfer. So when you click on email my code, GoDaddy will send a mail with the authorization code to your admin mail address in GoDaddy. Now go back to Namecheap and add the domain to your card. Click on view card and apply a promo code which I always use to transfer domain to Namecheap. To me, if anyone really wants to transfer the domain to another register, I feel Namecheap is the best option to go simply because only for about 9 bucks you are getting extension for 1 year and free WhoisGuard for 1 year, which is a great deal if you ask me. By the time GoDaddy should already send you the authorization code. Copy the code from your mail and paste it in Namecheap EPP code field beside the domain name. Now confirm your order and pay the bill with your credit or debit card, PayPal or your account balance in Namecheap. Now go back to your Namecheap dashboard and click on status of transfer request progress in the left menu. It will say queued for submission under the status menu. Wait for few minutes as Namecheap will send you a mail to approve the transfer. So go to your admin mail of the last register, in this case GoDaddy, and approve the form Namecheap sent to you. After submitting the form, you will get a confirmation message saying thank you, your response has been recorded. Now go back to your Namecheap dashboard to know the status and you will see it says auto verification of transfer. Now let me explain what this means. It means that Namecheap have recorded your wish and send a mail to GoDaddy on your behalf to release the domain. If GoDaddy accepts your request then they will send a mail to your admin mail or you can also find that in the GoDaddy account of yours. Most of the times it takes a few minutes to complete the process and 99.9% .9 times previous register will let you go. So don't worry. Now go to GoDaddy and select transfer under domains. Click on pending transfer out on the left menu and there you should find your domain. Accept the transfer and you are done. Now check your mail and refresh the inbox few times and you should get your confirmation mail from GoDaddy there. And that mail should say that your domain name has been transferred to Enom, which is Namecheap in our case. This is how easily you can transfer a domain from GoDaddy to Namecheap. How to give away posting new videos every week and more videos are coming in next few days. So if you like the video, subscribe our channel for more and share our videos with your friends and family. Thank you.